22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time Reflection Spirit of N. Peter said You are the son of God All of them They had a different idea As to the Messiah They wanted a political leader Glorious, glamorous Person But then Jesus wanted to break it and That's exactly why He's going to Caesarea Philippi a, pa a pagan land To be alone to teach them the real meaning of suffering and his calling. So that, that's exactly why the Lord is speaking about the pain that he has to go through to, to gain that, to receive that gain. So there is no pain, there is no gain. But then that's exactly why, how Peter rebuked him and said, it should not happen in your life, you should not suffer. Remember, my dear friends, devil always wanted to take the cross away. In exorcising people, we keep the cross on the person who is possessed by the demon. And they can't bear. So your life is a cross. St. John Mary Vianney beautifully says, your body is formed in the form of a cross. So when you say yes to the Lord, that's pain. And there is power in that pain. Not every pain is the cross, my dear friends. The suffering that you bear for the kingdom, that is the cross. When you say yes to the Lord and no to yourself, your flesh, that is the cross. So the suffering that you go through, bear because of the Lord. That's exactly why he wanted to, them to know who am I in your life? Without which you will never experience, you, are not, you will never bear this pain. It happens with the relationship. The first reading we find a Jeremiah, a prophet who is called a doom, prophet of the doom. And he's a single bachelor. He never got married, gave his whole life to the Lord. So Lord became his husband. And that it was a kind of a marital bond between the Lord and himself. He so loved him and he's a sensitive character. The when he called Jeremiah, of course the southern kingdom was Threatened by, threatened by Babylonians. So they had a plan to get the, get the support of Egyptians and uh, Assyrians to, to attack Babylonians. But the Lord said, no, you, 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 you have to, you have to, you have, you should have, you have to change that plan. There's no other way. You give in to the Babylonians, don't fight them. But then that because of that plan, Jeremiah became so unpopular among the people. He had to go through terrible pain. But then when God called him, he said, I'm going to be with you. But then the pain was so much, people rejected. Even he was curtailed from going to the temple, not the pa even the palace. So in that agony, he's saying, Lord, you have, you have molested me. That's the exact wording. You have used me. Like, like a wife, like a lover, he's saying that I, I'm not going to speak in your, word, in your name hereafter. I'm done. I'm tired. That is the pain of the cross, my dear friends. Because of the Lord, I'm suffering. Because of the Lord, I'm suffering. So this is exactly what Peter could not accept. Peter was so cut up when, he, when Jesus said, I have to, I have to suffer. So that's exactly why he took Jesus aside and rebuked him. This should not happen in your life. So according to their view, view Messiah should, should flourish. Messiah, Messiah should conquer. Messiah should, should you know, uh, completely defeat Roman Empire. That's the kind of messianic kingdom that they wanted. My dear friends, in, in Luke chapter 20, Luke chapter 4, verse 13, after temptations in the wilderness, devil left, devil left uh, Jesus, but searching, waiting for an appropriate time. Now comes the appropriate time. Peter, who, who said, who had the anointing of the Father, to say that you are son of God. Now, that rock, on the rock I'm going to build my church. That rock is going to, is, is, has become a stumbling block. 
that rock at one time now stumbling block that's life there's no other way so that's exactly what happened to jesus he repeated rebuked then jesus said jesus completely rebuked peter and said get behind me satan get behind me satan because you think in the way the law with the people get behind me satan you are a hindrance to me for you are not setting your mind on the things of god but on things of man and jesus said <coughs> if anyone would come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me if you want to follow that's your choice that's your choice it happens it happens with the love that you have for the lord <coughs> without which of course it's useless that's exactly what jeremiah is saying in the reading <coughs> excuse me he saying i speak i cry out cry out i shout violence and destruction when a person when a lady who is raped by a person only these words are said so people will come to know that i'm it it is happening without the person's consent it's raping jeremiah is saying now i'm done i'm tired i'm tired because because of you i have, I have to go through all this pain peter didn't want jesus to suffer <coughs> then he said i will not mention him or speak any more in his name they are in my heart as i were as i it were burning fire shut up in my bones and i am weary with holding it in and i cannot <coughs> excuse me so so that's exactly what what ha- what should happen in that relationship it's like a marital bond jeremiah is so closely intertwined to the lord the more he think that i am not going to speak in your word in your name that thought weary him it's it's it has this become a fatigue he's tired of holding into that <coughs> tired of controlling that word my dear friends so that's exactly what should happen jesus say i have a kind of baptism i can't help but accomplish my father's will my fa- my food is to do the farm my father's will john chapter 4 verse 34 that love you should have that love to bear that pain you are call for that that's exactly how the second reading beautifully says i appeal to you brothers my miracle of by the miracle of god to the present to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to god which is your spiritual worship your bodies as a sacrifice i mean this is what your what you want your whims and fancies your desires your flesh it's like a tug of war but god wants what you want now you offer what you want of course it it, it causes a lot of pain rejection but then this is the real true worship spiritual worship do not be comforted to this world confirm to this world but be transformed by a renewal of your mind and that by testing you may discern what is well, what is the will what is the will of god what is good and acceptable and perfect so this is exactly what should what you should do with your life offer your life like a sacrifice jesus came to offer his life and there is power in that pain for that matter even peter was crucified in rome my dear friends he gave his life completely because holy spirit came and filled their hearts with that love of god that love is unstoppable he gave his whole life because he loved the lord so much amen <laughs>